what do men truly want you see what you may see out in the street what they can get is another thing but what we truly want is not someone that's knocking on or over 200 pounds let that sink and say that out loud to everybody here we do not want women over 200 pounds <laughs> Hey YouTube, it's that dude named Dave and I am back with another reaction video. But before I get started here, I need you guys to click on like, subscribe, and the bell notification below because I still need help with the YouTube algorithm. But let me quit talking here. Let's get to Kevin Samuels because he is back talking about unrealistic dating goals. So let's get to the video. We're gonna let Kevin cook and we're gonna try to let this make sense. Um, I was just going back to the young lady that you were just speaking to earlier. And um, you said that you believe all men They might. You're better off accepting it. I don't know. I just feel like that's not like, I mean, I might be wrong. Like, you know. How old are you? I am 25. In the mammal kingdom, in mammals, is it the norm for the male of the species to make a monogamous pair bond for life? No. So you want humans to be different? Um, Back in the days when humans did have this whole monogamous pair bond, what was the life expectancy in biblical times? How old? Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was like, I'm not sure, honestly. I think it was like 60 or something like that. About 45 years, most people died early. So what's the problem with men exercising their options? I mean, that, presuming that you want you to be married? Do I want to be married? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you want to have children? Yes. How many? Um, I already have one right now, maybe one more. Okay. Do you want to have to work, pay bills after you're pregnant? I mean, no. What state do you live in? I live in Miami. How much money <laughs> is it going to take for a family of four? Oh, yeah. Miami? It's really expensive down here, for so sure. So you think a man should, you think a man who's going to take on a woman with somebody else's kids is going to make that kind of money and not ex explore what is what's in Miami? Are you I just feel like, I understand I, that. I, 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 before you feel what you feel, mm -hmm. tell me what a man who's going to be a stepfather and have to put up with being a stepfather and then has to be a provider for a woman who has a child that she wasn't married to. You weren't married to dad. What kind of money is that man going to need to make to be a stepfather? I think I you should be that. much more happy that somebody's willing to even consider being a stepfather. Because you weren't married to the baby daddy. See, you ladies often want the second man to do more than the baby daddy. And that's crazy. I don't... I get where you're coming from. When, like, trust me. I really like you. I like the way that, like, you're, you're very honest and you're very straight. So I understand where you're coming in a lot of ways. But right. I also believe that it's not about the money or how much money a man makes that's going to make him want to cheat. I feel like it's he's just happy in his relationship. No. All to, no. And nothing like me. <laughs> you can feel what you want to. You don't have a dick. Oh my God. So, you can feel what you want to. Ma'am, ma listen. Yeah. You can feel what you want to. You don't have a If it wasn't, if it wasn't an issue, if, if it, if, so what you're saying is your one is supposed to satiate a man who has the ability to provide for a family of four in my hand. What do you bring, what do you and your one bring to the table? It's so great and wonderful to offset everything that man has to bring to the table. I mean, I feel like maybe I won't make as much money as him, but I'm able to make close, I'm going to be able to make as How much is he going to have to make to take care of a family of four, to be responsible? How much? How much is he going to have to make? At, at least 400000 What percentage of men make 400000 And I got to be, be dead honest. How tall are you? I'm 5'10". Dress size? Um, I wear a medium large, depending. Dress size? I don't know, <laughs> honestly. When's the last time you wore a dress? What do you mean? I just I, I was dress. just wearing one earlier. Then they have a size. They should be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I don't. Um, I just know large and, and medium. Babe. How much That's do you weigh? I weigh one ninety. How tall are you again? I'm five ten. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, man. Five ten, one ninety. You weigh more than a man, but your height. And I understand when you. Ladies, she's 15 pounds more than me. 
So you have to understand how she, when he's asked these questions, he's breaking it down. Of course, she said about the 400,000 and how much men, I mean, men make that kind of money. It's not that much. I don't know if he's going to get to this point in the video here, if he asks this here, but only 7% of black men make $100,000 a year. So 400,000, we are literally going to the top 1%. Don't matter the demographic, but at 5, 10, 190, ladies, if you are looking at 190 here, you need to do something about it. Let's get back to the video. Listen, listen, way more than a man at your height. And you expect and you think that a man who's making $400,000 should come in and be a stepdaddy to a 5 foot 10, then the 200 pound woman. <laughs> But you have to understand, Kevin. I don't have to understand Samuel, nothing. Samuel. You're five foot ten. Every, almost, there's men that have different have, preferences as well. Not every ten. woman wants a woman that is no, you average need to, size. Okay, you understand see, that? See, no, no. That's what you want to believe. I have. Before Kevin Cook's here, ladies, y'all need to stop with that here. See, that's what you want to believe in saying here. What do men truly want? You see, what you may see out in the street, what they can get is another thing. But what we truly want is not someone that's knocking on or over 200 pounds. Let that sink and say that out loud to everybody here. We do not want women over 200 pounds. Let's let Kevin cook some more here. How many men do you talk to on the radio? I've talked to thousands over years. You gonna come in here 25 years old and try to school me? I'm not schooling you. Well, I mean, you come in here with not everything. I'm just giving a different But what men don't want, how about this? What men don't want to do is have to go make themselves $400,000 men and take care of somebody else's kids. Well. You ain't bringing $400,000, so that don't mean shit. <laughs> bringing fries to a burger don't mean nothing. What does your child's father do for a living? Um, he owns his own company. What well. does he do? That he, that he can be a shoe shine, you know. <laughs> he what owns he, a contracting company. What does he do? He owns a contracting company. What does he do? Like like landscaping and stuff like that, like building houses. How much yeah. does he make? He builds houses. Mm -hmm. Tell me, those are two very different things. What do you mean? Contracting? Like he he's a general contractor. He has a general contracting company. And how much money does he make? I'm not sure about that. I'm not in his pocket, sir. I'm not. And your baby daddy's a general contractor. Mm -hmm. No offense to you, sir, but I know general contractors ain't paid like that. You can't tell me what he does because he don't do nothing particularly well. He has no profession. Understood. He doesn't. He doesn't have a profession. Understood. So you can't tell me he makes anywhere close to 400000 So you think a man should come in to be with a woman who had a baby for a general contractor at 18 She's 5'10", 190 pounds. Mm -hmm. And you worried about cheating? I mean... <laughs> oh, my God. I Don't get me wrong. I definitely understand where you're coming from with a lot of things. I just, I, I feel like sometimes when you do speak, you speak from, like, a one-sided and a one-minded, like, one -minded, like type of way like right. I understand and, and, that and there are 300,000 views on every video with men in the comment section saying thank you I ain't just speaking no, I'm for not saying that you're wrong I'm speaking right? for I'm saying I am speaking for the men who cannot tell you the truth and instead of just telling me what how I speak why don't you understand this men don't want to pay for nobody else's kid men don't want women to weigh more than them at their height you've heard this you know this you can't do anything about a kid, but you can do something about your height. I mean, about your weight. Understood. I am. Then the notion of that somebody should come in and four hundred thousand dollars, even if he was making two hundred, how much do you plan on making? I plan on um, honestly making around four hundred thousand dollars as well. Is, okay, what is, what's your degree? Um, I don't have a degree, sir. But so not not everyone needs a degree. To what are you planning on making four hundred thousand? What high income skill do you have to bring in? Um, uh, right million now dollars? I own a mobile bartending company. Um, okay, so mobile, <laughs> mobile bartending. Mm -hmm. How long do you own this business? I've owned it for more than two years. More than two years. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the bank to get financing, or did you go to get your initial round of funding? I'm financing my company myself. Okay. And you didn't go to college, okay? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. where, where do you work before starting? I was business? just getting a call. What, what was that? Where did you work before getting started your business? 
Um, I was working at a restaurant for them, but this was, was like a server, a hostess, or what? I was a server and a hostess. Okay, so mm -hmm. what restaurant? Um, it's Prime One Twelve on okay. the beach. Right. So you have the skills to be a server. I've been a server, mm -hmm. but that's not a high income skill. I understand. And now you're a mobile hookah, whatever. Is this your vehicle? What, what do you mean? No, well, this is basically mobile? like, okay, Um, I have a lot of clients who book me for different events. So if they're having weddings, they're having baby mm -hmm. showers, they're having any type of event, they book me for those types of events. What and do you bring? What do you mean? I bring my my supplies, my my um, my um, mixers, my bar, my whole mm -hmm. setup, you know? Okay. Uh, and you are certified barking? Yes, I am. And I have girls who work with me as well. Uh, and you make in, in the, the contractors? What do you mean? They don't, they're not employees, they're contractors? Yeah, yes, they're contractors. All right, and you've been doing this business for how long? And this business is going to make half a million dollars a year? Take home? I think you can. Okay, how much I, I believe need? so, how because much, I'm not... Okay, I'm not Need, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Before you ask that, I got a business question. Yes. How much would you need to make gross to take on four hundred thousand dollars a year? I would need to make at least six what? Six hundred. Six hundred thousand dollars gross. Oh, I'm sorry. To bring home four hundred thousand dollars net. How much would you need to make gross to bring home four hundred thousand dollars? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not doing that. I don't. I have to do the math on that. What do you think? Can you Can you tell me? I don't. No, I can, but I but see, I already know because I have the skills. I'm saying to see if you know. Seems though you say you think the business can make that. I want to see how you know. Um, I just feel like okay. The reason why I said that my business can make I don't that want, much. I don't, young lady, I don't want to know. What See, he's doing this on purpose because if anybody is having any kind of business that is generating over $400,000 in revenue income, then you should be able to break down net profit, things of this nature, basic math right now. So that's why he's drilling this in. So if you're having this business that's going to make this here, let me just ask these basic business questions. If she can answer these basic business questions, how should we be able to handle that kind of business? Let's continue know what you feel we're talking business i want to know what you think and know i don't do know think? exactly how much i would have to well make. typically mo typically uh, a conservative estimate is you bring home 10 percent uh -huh. of your gross right so if you had a four million dollar business you could expect to bring home 10 percent it seems like most people you're just you're just thinking that money come in money come out i understand and, and what I'm basically saying is, I asked what high income skill do you have to make this money? You don't. See, in this, you ladies, people tend to think today because the rules of business don't exist anymore because you got a cell phone and the internet. You're not a business person. You don't know how to set up a business to make that kind of money. And to make that kind of money takes gross, I mean, net, it takes some skill. So, okay. So the reason say, why to say I'm going to bring home what he's making on a man bringing that home has to have a high income skill, not a hookah, a mobile nothing. Sir. Okay, I hear what you're saying. The reason why I feel that, well, I don't, I don't feel. I know that my business will grow exponentially not only because of the people skills that i have but also because i'm not only selling a service i'm also selling a product as well um right now i'm in the um working to get a liquor license for my drinks that i make my custom drinks so this is a business that i know for sure four hundred thousand dollars a year yeah, great and if it was that if it was easy that easy for a high school graduate to make four hundred thousand dollars a year how many people would rush down to miami to do what you do not not everybody has uh, Ma'am, okay, I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't want to do this. I don't want to argue. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna argue because you don't. 
the reason why he's asked this question here because anything that is low level skill that can make a lot of money you would see so many people jump on the bandwagon it don't have to be so many people where you see everybody doing it but you will see so many people in that market as well because of his low level and is able to generate income people would get into it because people don't want to go to college people don't want to do extra things here want to be able to get the most with doing the least here so i get that she's a mobile bartender and it may satisfy her income right now for her age at, at 25 years old but it's not a business that's going to generate over four hundred thousand dollars or four million in revenue to what she thinks that she's going to be able to do here because if that was the case here we will see mobile bartenders running all over the place but let's let let's continue to let kevin cook some more that's what it comes right down there's no argument you absolutely do not know what you're talking about and i'm trying to tell you something but i get it so many people tell women yeah go out and pursue your dreams and such and so forth you're a mother of one telling me that you think running a mobile hookah bar or something is going to make a half a million dollars take home I mean, can I just work? say another thing as well? Because I don't even, I don't even bring that Here's up. Here's the thing. What you can do, what you can do, what you can do, is, what you can do is, what you can understand is, is even away from the business, ultimately what I'm trying to say is you, you, you're also in denial and delusion. It's hard mm -hmm. to tell you the business. Well, you can see, and it's about believing. I like the like, I'm open-minded and I'm hearing everything that you're saying. But you're not, but you're not accepting that money is not free. If what you're saying is plausible, there are people who know more about business and have better sales, management, bartending, and all kinds of experience than you. And they're not making that. I don't feel like all of my money is gonna come from my business. I do also know that, cause right now I'm in real estate. I just all uh, purchased my Ooh, first property. You can't make this shit up. So I'm a mother, I'm a real mother, estate. I'm a hooker, oh no. Real estate, I'm a server. Just like you're a general contractor in life. Just like you need to be. There you are. You got all these things going on. No, I actually I actually know that, okay, at the end of the day, I'm very smart. I know that the business itself is not gonna bring me that. I know that for sure. But it can get there. Okay. It can get to a good scale. And I know that as well, real estate is gonna help me get to the if point. You where took I want this to shark life. tank, they would not buy it. You know what, people? Look at the real estate market right now. It is so many ebbs and flows right now, but it is very, very unstable. And see how many people are selling their homes and see how many people are already buying homes and look at the interest rates. Can't make this up right now. Let's keep going. If you took it to the bank, ma'am, who wrote your business plan? I did. Based upon what business knowledge? You shouldn't write your own business plan. You're too close to it. Who wrote your marketing plan? No one. I do. Then you don't I, have I'm, a business. Then you don't have a business plan. I'm, because I'm, a marketing I'm, plan. I'm, I'm doing my marketing plan by myself. No one did it for me. Exactly. You're right. So go back to so go back to my Shark Tank and Lions Den show. Hmm. So many people think they know what the hell they're talking about. You wrote a business plan based upon your incomplete, insufficient knowledge of an industry or marketplace. You're what right. you did is you took a business plan template and you put in what you think. But if you took that to Bank of America and tried to get a loan and say, here's what I got as collateral, and here's who I am, and here's my business plan, they'd say denied. They would not give you a loan. You're right. I can't do everything by myself. And, like, well, trying what to you can't have do a is, ma'am, it is unlikely to make a half a million dollars a year as anybody. You have to have high income skills for that. Not bartender, hookah, real estate, Power Ranger contract. You don't have a college degree. You don't have any. You don't have any real experience in the work world except serving. I'm not saying that you don't have intelligence or ability, but what you don't have is competence. Competence gets compensated, but see, the world will allow you, ladies, to walk around here and just talk these fantasy fan, fantasies and, and, and blah blah blah. And you got a kid at seven years old, and you don't have time to be a mother and, and run a half a million dollar net business. You don't have that kind of time. And then to turn around and be asking a question about a man who is bringing that kind of money home, or even half of that, and you question whether or not he decides to get no, someone No, I mean, I wasn't questioning that, honestly. I was just asking you, do you believe that all men cheat? That's, that was the I question. believe that any man that's making that kind of money has options to exercise. And if you're lucky enough to get one, 
uh, look at your baby daddy and ask, uh, is it better than what you had? I like you, Kevin. Because this is the truth. If, if you got a man that's making him that kind of money, is he better than your BD? Then you you laid down and gave that man the, the most important thing you give any man in the world, a child. And he got it for being fries on McDonald's. General contractor. Come on, man. Can't ask for more than your BD. That's why I tell you ladies all the time. It's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow, but you can't ask more than your BD. Uh, I would say get with a consultant, sit down with somebody, because if you really want to do a business, you need to get somebody who understands business to write a plan. Out, right? You need to go pay to get a business plan written. Don't do it yourself because you're too close to it. That's anybody. Appreciate it, young lady. And that's the end of the video. Kevin gave some great gems and nuggets in this here. And he wasn't being mean or bashful. It's just the fact that this woman here was very ignorant on the things about business as well as men as well. Because he's basically explaining that men making over $400,000 a year, it is not easy. Depending on the state where you live at, the top 1% of men, doesn't matter their race or creed, makes the minimum of $500,000 a year, depending on you in the East Coast or West Coast. Certain states, it's seven to $800,000 a year. So a man making $400,000, you're talking about someone, depending on the areas, the top 1.5 to top 2% of all men. That takes dedication, hard work, sacrifice, skill level that an average worker cannot do here, especially somebody with a mobile bartending gig. So if mobile bartenders could make it to the 1%, we will see every mobile bartender in every strip, every major city where we can talk about here. But that's just me talking here. What do you guys think about this video? And what do you guys think about Kevin Samuels? Like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification bell. Let me know what you think about this here. And as always, I'm that dude named Dave. See you guys later, YouTube world. Ooh.